I know that all of you are here to listen to the weighty words of members of the Senate, but I really know that it's the cow that has drawn your attention. So, uh, but we, we appreciate very much Maggie the cow for being here. Uh, I think Roger stated uh, pretty clearly what the issue is, and this is what it is. Um, I come from the state of Vermont, and dairy farming has been the cornerstone of what agriculture in our state is about. It is important not only for the economy of the state of Vermont and for economies of rural America from one end of this country to the other, but it is also extremely important to consumers who increasingly want to know that the products that they are buying for their kids are quality products, they are wholesome products, and that they are fresh products. And as we see agriculture in this country become more and more industrialized, as we see more and more food coming from countries where agricultural regulations are, to say the least, and a minimum, the American people are demanding quality food. Our farmers are producing that food. And that is why we have got to support and strengthen family-based agriculture all over this country. Now, I am happy to say that in the last few months, the Congress has begun to wake up to the crisis in dairy-based agriculture in this country. Senator Leahy, Senator Cole helped us raise the milk dairy price support by approximately $1.50, a hundredweight. Not enough, but it will help farmers. The amendment that I passed is also going to be of help uh, to dairy farmers all over this country. But we have got a lot of work in front of us short term, and the federal government can play a major role in, in the midst of this crisis, helping family farmers stay afoot, keep them alive until we see prices rise in the marketplace. In my view, long term, we need to do some bold thinking so that we don't continue to have the kind of volatility that we have seen for so many years, which has resulted in the demise of thousands of uh, dairy farms uh, all over this country. We've lost more than 250 dairy farms in Vermont in the last five years, 32 so far this year. I was at a funeral for one of our leading dairy farmers uh, this, uh, this past week. But I heard from the dairy farmers who came there it is more and more difficult to hold on. These were among the best dairy farmers we have ever had in the state of Vermont, and they are, they are barely holding on. The Judiciary Committee will hold a hearing and go into the antitrust effect. The kind of salaries and the fact that the way the market is controlled by a couple of monopolies has to be a, a concern to us. Not just to dairy farmers, it ought to be a concern to all of us as consumers. So, Bernie, thank you for doing this. Thank you, Patrick. One of the things we're trying to do in Congress is make sure that this issue is not just one region of the state, not a northeast right. or a south. Right. It is a national issue. Tom Udall has been very active in fighting for family farmers from New Mexico. Senator Udall. Thank you. Bernie, thank you very much for doing this. and, and let me just emphasize your first point. There, there is no doubt uh, that in the Rocky Mountain western states, uh, dairy is a big industry. From, from Montana down through New Mexico and Arizona, it's significant. And so uh, I just want to weigh in as one senator from a, a western state who believes that, that dairy is very important and that we need to move forward with the Sanders Amendment. We span the geography of the country but we're all here for one reason. Our dairy farmers are in the worst shape that I have ever seen. I sat with a dairy farmer from Lewis County uh, in upstate New York in the Tug Hill pr Plateau a couple of weeks ago. He said, my family has farmed dairy on this land for 11 generations. 11. Well, you figure that out. If it's 20 years a generation, that's 220 years ago. So they were farming before the Constitution and all the ups and downs, the panics, the depression, the wars, you name it. Nothing got that family off their farm. He's going to lose his farm in the next couple of months if we don't do anything. 